What are some of the best ways to research a moving company? Uh, there's a few good ways. Um, I'll give you some basic tips on really quickly assessing whether you want to use a moving company or not. And let me show you how that works. Your best way, 50%, typically 50% of the people are getting it by referral, repeat customers, your real estate agent, your lawyer, um, friends that have moved with the company. That's the best way to get You get a real good feel for that. If that hasn't happened for you and you don't have any of those type of reviews, then the next way typically you would get it would be in, on, online. You would go, you check the company's website, or you'd look around, you look through Google, do some reviews, so on and so forth. And then, of course, when you're doing your reviews online, whether it be for Angie's List, Google, you combine them all, we basically use a 90-10 rule. You know, 90% good reviews, 10% okay reviews, maybe bad, even bad reviews. That typically is going to show up as a quality company. You know, if you're doing 90% of quality work all the time, you're doing a pretty good job. If you're getting in these companies that have 100% online good reviews, you got to worry about that because there's really not a company out there that's that good. And not even Apple gets 100% online reviews. So having said that, you know, your last one would be, um, your next one would be your 20% uh, make your own review. This is where I'm going to give you three minutes and less time that you're actually watching this video. I'm going to give you four questions that you can ask any moving company over the phone and immediately assess whether you're going to get a quality job or not. So the four questions would be, right out of the box, you want to ask them what their department of transportation number is. And what that means is department of transportation is is uh, an organization, a government organization that licenses movers to do from move work from state to state or within the area that you're at. If for any reason the company stumbles on the number, gives you the wrong number, says they'll get back to you at the number, red flag. Just literally run the other way because they're not a legitimate company. So I don't know how you would have found them, but if you did, that's not a company you want to do. The next one, it's kind of obscure, it's kind of funny, is ask the owner's name. Uh, the reason why you would do that is if there's an owner is up front and above board and is a prominent business guy or a woman, he's gonna, he or she is going to want to be present, be known. So the people that are representing them that are answering the phone is going to be sure his name is so-and-so, her name is so-and-so. Okay, so that's a real important thing. If they stumble on that name, they don't want to give you the name, that's another bit of a red flag. So if you got the, the OT number but the owner's name doesn't come, you're not in great shape so far. So the next thing would be, and really important, would be an office address and the business hours. And what I mean by that is you would ask, what's your address? Okay, my address is so-and-so Main Street. Great, when can I come by? When's your business hours? When may I come by to view your facility? Well, our trucks are parked in a different spot. We're in and out all the time, so on and so forth. If you really can't go or they won't kind of greet you into their facility at any point, it's a, it's a red flag for the reason of they may be subbing your work out to somebody else. It may be just an online broker who books your move, real smooth talker, and then next thing you know, XYZ moving comes, and that's not the company you hired. When can I come by is a big piece. Uh, if they tell you come by Monday through Friday 9 to 5, the doors are open all the time, that's the company you want, that they're allowing you to just come through in that space. If you ask these questions and they all come back, basically, the DOT number is this, the owner's name is this, uh, my address is this, and my business hours are 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, and come by anytime. If you get all those questions answered in that way, you're on your way to a quality moving company. I hope that helps.